thing if you want to improve your concentration your focus if you want to remain motivated by yourself all the time you must learn to still your system so that the mind simply awakens to reality so to achieve this there are certain fundamental disciplines given to you in yoga apne yam aur niyam sune hain yam and niyam are the basic very simple disciplines given to you in order to achieve this stillness the stability of body and mind and to be able to go into real yoga otherwise it is a you know many things are passing for yoga today so without any discipline without any commitment if you dive into it you will get a very little out of it but if you do it as it is required to be done you will get what you are seeking so yam ka there are five uh, disciplines in yam the fundamentals of yoga one discipline is uh, the first one is what is called ahimsa non violence a non violent attitude of mind you please check your thought process and see what you are calling negative thoughts many of them are violence based anger hatred jealousy there are there, it's tinged with violence himsa buddhi kehte hain isko you don't want it to happen but it has become part of your thought process so removing this from your thought isiliye then only positive states of mind are possible so when you remove himsa from your mind mind fills up with positivity don't straight away ask uh, what if the other person is doing himsa to me if we are established in ahimsa nobody can do himsa to you you know this is a, an important law in human life if you are by nature loving and kind and all accepting basically spiritual nobody can do any great harm to you it will just not occur to them so ahimsa fundamental discipline of yoga is meant for this so that your mind achieves the stability required for yoga this is the first discipline second is satya which means commitment to truth in thought word and deed iska matlab hai what you say is what you think what you think is what you do the three are not going in different directions so this is satya not just talking the truth that's only the first step but you mean what you say and you base your actions upon what you say and think this is satya the third is asteya which means non stealing now don't understand this this is to be understood in a subtle way non stealing ka matlab hai in no way you try to build up a false ego your copyright stealing plagiarism all this is included in asteya the tendency in research there's a huge amount of plagiarism so this tendency should not be there in the mind that is being established in asteya which means i am not borrowing that knowledge or taking that thing which does not belong to me i am not going to flatter my ego because i am in search of the truth about myself so this is an essential discipline of the mind the fourth is brahmacharya see this was fundamental to our education process in the past in the vedic age why is this being recommended is because you keep your energies in your hands brahmacharya essentially means committing pranayak energy to the heart center when you do that what happens intense clarity remains you are in sort of free of body consciousness you have your entire mental powers in your hands so you can apply the mind to anything and you will be successful there it is essentially retaining your energies in your hands without this discipline your energies remain dissipated and it requires a lot of effort to gather them together that is why this essential discipline of brahmacharya there is another vital point here which yoga it's important for yoga you see where you commit your vital energies according to that your awareness opens up if your vital energies are committed only to the lower chakras to the lower centers only body consciousness will prevail even mind consciousness mental awareness is not increased but if you commit them to the heart and above the heart body consciousness falls away only mental awareness remains and you go beyond even that 
higher dimensions of awareness will open themselves up to you. So this art of committing vital energy to the higher centers was fundamental to any great achievement. And the science of it is being given to you in yoga. It is actually a science, retaining your energies in your hands. And it is the, it is the normal process of decent living. It is a way of living beyond mere body consciousness. So this is another fundamental discipline stressed. Then you have aparigraha. Aparigraha means not accepting gifts. Why you know? It obligates you to the giver of the gift. When you take something from somebody, you develop a soft corner for that person. This way your, your mind which wants to get into states of yoga cannot be compromised, its energies cannot be compromised in this way. That is why you don't accept things from others. You can give as much as you can, but don't accept. This is another discipline. Then you have the Niyama set of disciplines. Another five disciplines, the first one is Shaucha. Essentially, they are disciplines of your senses and your mind, Yama and Niyama. Shaucha is general cleanliness of body and mind. Then Santosha, contentment. If you know the art of contentment, if you have felt it, you can be happy with very little. Those who don't have contentment with a lot of things also, they can be very unhappy. So these are all fundamental disciplines to remain in happy positive states of mind. Then there is Tapas. We already discussed Tapasya is turning the mind a little inward. In whatever form you do it, tapasya. Isiliye to log kitna kuch karte hai na in the form of tapasya. Some level of self-control they try to practice so that your energies increase. Hmm? And then swadhyay is good study, self-study every day. See, you people study so much. I know how your waking hours are occupied. Do you do any amount of elevating study every day? Panch minute ke liye bhi Bhagavad Gita padna ya Vivekananda ko padna, something from yoga, some scriptural study. If you just did five minutes of study every day consciously, it will elevate your thought process. It will clear your mind. Isiliya swadhya itna important hai. You dwell on a higher thought throughout the day, through everything that you do. Whatever work you do in your room, in your classroom, in your lab, there will be an undercurrent of this elevated thought. So it helps you in various ways. Isiliye, a little amount of self-study, scriptural study every day. I would recommend to you, there are small books, thoughts of Vivekananda or Vivekananda's rousing message. Like the small books are there, 10 rupees for 10 rupees, very vibrant thoughts of Vivekananda. You must at least keep one or two books with you. Every day read just one thought and it will just hit you. It will help you even in developing concentration, in gearing up your life towards success, it will help you. Hmm? So this swadhya you should keep up by yourself. Aisa nahi hai ki it's part of the course, so I have to do it after the course, I will stop it. Aisa nahi hai. It's, it's, a, it's part of your life now. Then, Ishwar Pranidhan, it essentially means surrender to God, surrender to the higher power, whatever you are doing. Finally, make it an offering to the divine in whatever way you want to do it. But if you only attribute things to your ego, it will take you away from the path of yoga. That is why this discipline is there. Hmm? Hey, na? See, naturally they are giving you small disciplines which will keep your mind very stable. Jiske, jiski wajah se aapke jeevan mein gabhirata aayegi, a certain depth will come into you. You will become a natural leader, you know. Everybody will look up to you if you maintain these standards of basic living. You see small disciplines, but you develop a mind which is very high, very great, capable of all achievement.